In this example, we want to show that our function here, given here, is continuous on the entire real line. That is from minus infinity to infinity. And uh, we are also given that x times sine 1 over x is bounded between the negative absolute value x and positive absolute value x. Okay. All right, so to do this, remember uh, that in order to show continuity at a point, okay, we need to show that f of that f of whatever point that we're looking at is defined, and the limit of the function as x approaches that point exists, and that the limit of the function as x approaches the point is equal to the function evaluate at that point. Okay, so looking at our piecewise function, okay, we have x times sine 1 over x. So we know this is continuous uh, everywhere except x equals 0, okay? So it's continuous on its respective uh, domain, okay? All right, so it's continuous on from minus infinity to 0 and from 0 to infinity, okay? And zero, the second part of this function, you have zero. So zero is just a point. Okay, it's just a, it's it's when x is zero, it's going to be zero. So that's just a coordinate. So really, the question here, uh, the real question here is, what is happening at zero? Okay. So. We know, right, so we know that x times sine 1 over x is continuous, okay, everywhere except x equal to 0, all right? So then we need to, now we need to see, okay, we need to see what's happening as x is approaching 0, okay, for this function, okay? So the limit, so we need to see that the limit, we need to see what the limit of this function is as x approaches 0. So this is where we, we're going to use the squeeze theorem, okay? Because we're given, okay, we're, we're given the lower bound and upper bound for this, for this particular function, okay? All right, so, okay, so this is what we're trying to find, okay? All right, so applying, applying the squeeze theorem, okay, we have, Okay, the limit of the lower bound Okay, so the limit of minus absolute by x as x approaches 0 uh, is going to be 0 okay, and the limit as x approaches 0 of our upper bound is also 0 okay therefore Okay, the limit of our function is also equal to zero by the squeeze theorem, okay? All right, so the limit of our function as x approaches zero exists. Now we have to uh, evaluate the function at zero, okay? All right, so the function evaluated at zero, okay, uh, since at x equals 0, okay, we get the value of 0 here, okay, so that's defined, okay, so the function at 0 is defined. Therefore, okay, looking at the third condition, okay, we have that the limit, okay, the limit of x times sine 1 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to the function evaluated at 0. Okay, so this tells us, okay, this tells us that the function is continuous at 0. Okay, and therefore, uh, it turns out that this function is continuous everywhere. Okay. Okay, so therefore, f of x is continuous okay on okay on this interval so it's continuous everywhere 
on this number line or the whole real number line okay so so we have this piecewise function okay we know uh, x times sine 1 over x is continuous everywhere except 0 okay and the second part of the piecewise function says that at x equals 0 it's going to be 0 okay so then we are able to we are able to uh, find out that the limit we were able to find that the limit exists by using the squeeze theorem and the limit of that of our function is equal to the function evaluated zero okay so therefore this function is continuous on the entire real line okay if we weren't given the second condition for this piecewise function okay so if there was no value for x equals zero so let's right so if there's no second so if there's no if we were just given the first part of this piecewise function, then this function would be, it would be a whole at zero, okay? And then therefore we could see that the function at zero would not be defined, and thus this would be a, uh, we would have a removable discontinuity at zero, okay? Therefore making this function not uh, continuous everywhere, particularly at uh, x equals zero, okay? All right, so, yep, so it turns out that this function is continuous everywhere.